Hi, I'm Ray and this is Gardening Online. Today we're just doing a bit of garden clearing up and this is our hyacinth and this is what we had for Christmas and we planted it in these pots and now the flower has flowered and the smell has gone and the flower has died. So I'm going to show you what we do with the aftercare of a hyacinth bulb. So the bulb has now done its flowering and is now wanting to produce seeds and the flowers will produce lots of little seeds all the way along and unless we want to save any of these seeds we need to stop the bulb from putting all his energy into the seeds. So the first step we need to do is we need to cut off the brown head and we can tell it's all brown, it's all, this one's actually broken in the wind. So all we're going to do, we're going to get some shears, I've just got some scissors, these are quite sharp and with a quick snip it will snip quite off. So we're just going to go down to the stem as low as we can and snip leaving all the leaves, all the foliage still still in place we're just cutting off the old dead heads. Now the energy can still be fed down into the leaves, into the bulb and around six weeks, five, six weeks the leaves will turn, turn brown, turn yellow, brown and then we can then chop off the remaining leaves right at the stem. So I'm just going to go through and chop off the other stem. Here we go. Once the leaves has been cut, we can put this pot, cover it up with a brown paper bag and put it in a dark area and then we could leave that until spring and then bring it back out into a warmer condition and then it will start re-sprouting again. If we're taking them out of the pot we could just lift the bulbs and dry the bulbs once all the foliage has died we can cut off the bulb and then store the bulb in a brown paper bag put it in a dark area and that would be good for spring. So that's deadheading a hyacinth and as we can see it's pretty much all dead now. So we're just going to leave this now in the pot and we'll just let it down naturally and we'll come back to it in a few weeks time and then we can sort out the bulbs. Thank you for watching and have you deadheaded your hyacinths and do you store your bulbs or do you plant them back out in the garden in another location which is ideal for those Christmas present bulbs and it will grow again for, this, for the following year in the garden and we'll probably be doing that with the ones in our containers as we've got some big ones and I want to use the containers for another part of the garden. So, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you get notifications when I post some more videos. So, thank you very much. Cheers.